Wall Street's Christmas tree is one of the best in New York. Arriving for work at 7 a.m. in midwinter, it sure cheers you up. Inside, much of the cheer came from the magnificent seven. No, not the cowboy movie, the magnificent seven tech stocks. Alphabet. Amazon. Apple. NVIDIA and Meta. Microsoft and Tesla. You just can't bet against them. I mean, there's too much money that's flowing into them. People are making too much money on the returns right now, and the returns are outstanding for 2023. So until they reverse course, why get out of them? But two in that list, NVIDIA and Microsoft, deserve a closer look. NVIDIA was one of the best performing stocks of 2023, briefly passing the $1 trillion market cap valuation after introducing powerful microchips for the AI space. AI was this year's big thing on Wall Street, though the Biden administration has banned the sale to China of some high-end AI chips on national security grounds. Meanwhile, Microsoft closed in on Apple as the world's most valuable company and secured its position as a major player in the world of AI by investing in OpenAI and its bot ChatGPT and then rescuing the CEO, the AI guru, Sam Altman, when he fell out with the OpenAI board. Unlike w w the fascination with the metaverse last year, the AI is real, it's tangible, and it will produce significant results both for the companies and industries that use it and employ it correctly, and that may take some time to figure out how to do, and also for those investors that invest in it. The Chinese search engine Baidu, which trades in New York, launched an AI bot in 2023. Millions have used Ernie, as it's known, and it's credited with helping Baidu maintain revenue in the face of a possible advertising slowdown. Also worthy of a quick mention, Elon Musk. Never far from the headlines, he trimmed Tesla prices to stave off competition, unveiled the long-awaited Cybertruck, and managed to insult his advertisers at an extra Twitter public event in New York. One of the darkest chapters in 2023 was the regional banks. America is unique in having so many banks right across the country, and in 2023, some of them failed spectacularly. First to tumble in March was Silicon Valley Bank, based in San Francisco and designed to meet the needs of the tech industry. Word got out it couldn't pay all its depositors if it had to. There was a run on the bank as customers hastily withdrew billions. Signature Bank of New York went in a similar fashion, as did First Republic, also of San Francisco, and whose assets were eventually bought by the Wall Street titan J.P. Morgan Chase. Well, there were three regional banks that failed this year, and one of the reasons they failed was because rates rose so quickly, so unexpectedly, that they couldn't keep up, and it caused pa panic. And when people took money out of those smaller banks and they took it out quickly, uh, some of them couldn't survive. Wall Street was also rattled by the collapse of the international banking powerhouse Credit Suisse, which had to be rescued by its Swiss rival, UBS, with the help of billions of dollars from the government of Switzerland. 2023 saw wild swings for cryptocurrency as Sam Bankman-Fried was jailed for fraudulently running the second biggest cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, and CZ, the boss of the biggest exchange, Binance, pled guilty to money laundering. Towards the end of the year, crypto prices have recovered. But why? It's all to do with the anticipation that the Securities and Exchange Commission would approve a Bitcoin spot ETF, making it easier for major institutions of the likes of Wall Street to trade actual Bitcoin markets, not just futures-based markets. 2023 saw a pickup in the IPO market, the initial public offering market, here in New York, with some big names floating for the first time. Among them, Arm Holdings, a chip designer from the UK, Birkenstock, the German shoemaker, Carver, the growing Mediterranean culinary brand, and Instacart, the home delivery firm. None of them had wild, crazy valuations. And ironically, the one that, the one that people were probably the most concerned about, the uh, arm, has, has now done very, very well. And in 2024, the list of possible IPOs is intriguing. Xi'an, the Chinese fashion portal, much loved the world over. Skims by Kim Kardashian, the skincare firm. And Reddit, the online community for hobbies and passions. Watch Skims, Kim Kardashian. She brings a buzz about her wherever she goes. She's a great businesswoman. It's a $4 billion company. If she was to ring this bell here at the New York Stock Exchange, I think the retail investors would get excited. And so to the predictions for 2024. 
With the U.S. presidential election season getting underway, multiple rate cuts are expected, with inflation continuing to decline. I think the first couple months will be strong. I think we'll have about, about an average year. I don't think as much hinges on the interest rates as it does the election. Uh, and that's going to be a bigger second half of the year story. I would look for cyclicals, materials, energy, maybe to outperform tech, but that doesn't mean that tech is going to go down. John Terrett, CGTN, on the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange.